the navigation of charts. It's called a Chinese allegory map or the Sao Fang map. Sao Fang has these. He hands them off to Will at Singapore. He has the charts. It plays a very key uh, role because it's the whole reason they get to find Jack Sparrow. It's basically a map to the other world, to Davy Jones' locker. The route to the Father's Gate. Is it solving a mystery? We want our saying that that that's why the profound. map was created. Yeah. That's right. That's now. the moment. We had a big meeting. Gore knew it was important. So Gore brought everybody into the room. Crash and Chris and Rick and John and everybody. And we threw out all these crazy ideas. Like maybe it's lit from underneath and it projects stars. Maybe it's an origami. Maybe it's the globe that expands from a Chinese lantern. One of the references was sort of a ring type map that everybody liked. But at the end of the meeting, we're like, let's go with the globe idea. It's like, okay, the globe. I went and I got a Chinese lantern and I started painting on it and it started feeling like a National Geographic crafts project. It didn't have the coolness of like a big map. And it just looked dumb, it just, it just didn't work. So, this is not necessarily the illustration, but it's just like the feeling of having a cool map. So there's an area on the map which is the physical world, but then beyond that, I was thinking it needs to have realms that aren't in the physical world. It's almost like a big combination lock. It looks one way, you turn it, it, it makes it makes sense to something here. That's right. But then when you only rotate one section, these still may make sense, but it adds another element. In a way, it's like, you know, the nine rings of Hades, but it's much more physical. It starts, the middle of the map would be literal geography. And then it starts to expand to realms that are a little more metaphysical. This is the nice. real world, this is the inner world, this is the transition between the real world and the dead world. Now you're in the dead world. How do you get out? By the end, you get out into this celestial realm. It's not getting to the land of the dead that's the problem. It's getting bad. Gore knew he wanted a shot of a phrase being revealed. What's cool about this kind of writing, that's maybe the thing that you should rotate, is this kind of writing written over a line. And I was thinking, but if it's so obvious that it's the same typeface, that's not much of a secret because that clearly would line up. And I thought, oh, well, you disguise it as Chinese. So when you rotate them together, it becomes English. But, be exactly. but before that, it looked Chinese. Nice. They are rotating the rings and trying to line different uh, rings up to reveal phrases. As you rotate this, it's just that simple. And he loved it, but he was like, shouldn't when the rings turn, shouldn't the shapes of the countries become something else? And I thought, yeah, it should become a, a Chinese dragon. And then I just started doing a bunch of tests. I cut out a bunch of rings and just started drawing and seeing how interesting shapes would line up with each other. Sometimes the land formations line up just to be land formations, but then sometimes they line up to actually be magic shapes. Oh, here's something else that's cool is the, uh, the dragon. You see the dragon that forms now? This is actually real blood. I poked myself, so I just thought I'd dip it. And then I augmented it. I think with, this is ink, but some of this is real blood. And then you can, these are actually my fingerprints in blood. So my blood went into this map. Originally, we were hoping to actually make a paper version of the map, like origami, that would turn. You know, with the humidity that we have down here, it's just a lot of the uh, challenge we had was to, um, you know, find something that wasn't gonna be affected by the elements. So we have these brass rings that uh, all lift up like that. Yeah, it seems way more complex than it should be, but once you realize that the weather can affect it so much, you'd get to a point where the rings probably wouldn't turn anymore. It was ridiculous. Don't ever do that at home. The map has a few close-ups, so we had to create the entire map fully detailed in all areas because certain secrets are revealed. See, the problem, you want the eyeball to be the solution. The actual rolling answered the riddle. The eyeball rolls past, yes, we tilt up, you're kind of zoned out. You then reach down and turn this. This is sort of a crucial part because we knew that it was gonna sort of become something else. Up is down. 
Well, that's just maddeningly unhelpful. He also notices that the the boat itself in the center, if you turn it upside down, that sort of in, inspires him uh, because that's a clue in itself. And that's where you turn the inner wheel. This ship goes upside down. Yeah. Not sunset. Not sunset. Sundown and rise. If you're clever enough, if you study it enough, it will take you to places that you can't get any other way. We're good and lost now. For certain, you have to be lost to find a place that can't be found. And that sort of is a whole theme in Pirates, which is the more modern the world gets and the more efficient it gets, we start losing some of the magic and losing some of the connection with these metaphorical realms that humans used to be able to go into a lot more easily than they can today. Gentlemen, I wash my hands of this weirdness. 